This is the story of how a nomadic community in Kenya has been fighting against the slaughtering of their donkeys. Here, villages have been terrorized by gangs stealing and selling their donkeys for the Chinese black market. Turkana is Kenya's northwest desert country. It's bordered by Uganda, Sudan and Ethiopia and is one of Kenya's poorest regions. The people here travel hundreds of miles by foot and by donkey. For them, the donkey is their lifeline. In China, donkey burgers are a delicacy and their skin is in high demand. The gelatin from the hide is used to make a product called a jiao, a traditional Chinese medicine. A jiao now sells for a hefty 500 pounds per kilo. In China, it's flying off the shelves. Four slaughterhouses have opened in Kenya since 2016. But for the last two years, there has been an ongoing court battle to shut them down. Animal rights groups have for now succeeded in closing all the slaughterhouses. Just a month ago, the last one was ordered to stop its operation, though only once current stock is cleared. But the Chinese businessmen are challenging the closure. There are at least four active cases in Kenya's high courts. Meanwhile, the theft of donkeys is still prevalent in Kenya's poorest communities. <laughs> For Apatet, whose donkeys were stolen, life has become incredibly hard. Ekido is also a victim of donkey theft, and she blames the opening of the slaughterhouses. The decline of donkeys in Kenya is unprecedented. Between 2016 and 2018, 15% of the donkey population has been slaughtered. For Chief Nathan, this has traumatized his community. 20,000 number of donkeys. This number is reducing due to the theft. I'm expecting the number to be more than 15,000 donkeys that have been stolen in this area. Locals in Turkana's capital, Lodwa, protest outside the office of the local government every time their donkeys are stolen. They're demanding that all slaughterhouses be shut down immediately. But officials here say they have not seen donkey products leaving this area for China and that anyone caught smuggling will be brought to justice. If there is a still a continuation of illegal transportation of donkey meat from Trukana County, why has it not been intercepted? So it's not only the county government should be awake checking whether that illegal slaughter of donkey is still operational. We are not aware. They have also set up a vigilante group to protect donkeys from thieves. Joseph has been chosen to lead the team. For Turkanas and other communities affected by the global donkey trade, it's a matter of life and death. For business people wanting to make quick profits, donkey products are lucrative.
As for consumers who wanted to eat a delicious meal or look good, they will keep buying it.